over the years, the past three years to be exact, I've grown a little disillusioned with substitute teaching, and in this video, I want to explain to you why I quit substitute teaching. Hello and welcome back to Capo TV, the channel where we know school is a joke, but you still have to do something. If this is your first time here to Capo TV and you also think school is a joke, then hit that subscribe button now. It's been three years since I started working exclusively in the school system, and you know, that's about two and a half years too long. There are many small reasons why I decided not to return to substitute teaching this school year, but there are three big ones that I think you might find valuable in your own life at some point in the future. The first and the biggest reason why I quit substitute teaching is because I just didn't believe in it anymore. This is somewhat of a cliche, but it is very true. If you don't believe in the thing that you're doing, then eventually it's gonna drive you insane. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, then you already know what I'm talking about. School, school, school is a joke. And in my three years of working as a substitute teacher, I wasn't shy about sharing that viewpoint with teachers and students. You see, when I wanted to be a full-time teacher and I was actually applying for full-time jobs, I thought that my experience could be different. I thought that once I had my own classroom, I could teach the students the things they need to know to succeed in the world as it is today. From semester to semester, year to year, subbing in the same classes for the same teachers, I noticed that there were none of them making a solid effort to innovate the teaching profession. And it's not always the teacher's fault. They're just as restricted as the students are. Teachers have no freedom to teach the things they want. Teachers have no freedom to change the lesson plans from day to day. Teachers have no freedom to help students succeed in the 21st century. They have to follow the nonsensical directions that come from above. And by extension, as a substitute, so would I. I don't believe in that though, as is evident by this entire channel. A while back I made a video asking if I was living a lie by saying that school is a joke while going to work in a school every single day. I knew it was just a matter of time before my lack of belief in school kind of ruined the whole experience for me, and that happened at the end of last school year. And yes, over the past three years, there have been some really positive experiences that I had while substitute teaching, and I know there's a small group of students that understood the message I was trying to bring, and their lives may be better for it. At the end of the day, though, it's not healthy to keep doing something that you don't really believe in, and I really don't believe in the school system. The second big reason why I quit substitute teaching is because for me, it became a dead end job. I knew I didn't wanna be a teacher anymore. I knew I didn't wanna work in any other area of the school. And I had learned pretty much all there was to learn about being a substitute. I knew what to do, I knew what not to do, and I could recognize certain students from a mile away. And I, I don't mean that I knew their faces, I just meant Based on their behavior, I knew what kind of student they were going to be, and I knew what tactics to use to deal with that type of student. Really though, if you substitute teach for a year, you're taking a job every single day, then you're going to know pretty much all there is to know about substitute teaching. And after a while, it just gets to be boring. You see the same patterns over and over and over again. In fact, the reason why I stuck with it so long is because it was fun in some ways. It was fun to go into the classes where I knew the students knew that school was a joke, but they still did the work anyway because they're just playing along with the game. That sort of class was fun. So I guess what I'm saying is I stuck with it so long because of the people. The people that I worked with, that is the students and some of the teachers, were pretty good people. And the pretty good people far outweighed the pretty bad people. But that's not enough to stay in a dead end job. There was nowhere to go, either up or down. And that's why I quit. And the third big reason why I quit substitute teaching, the money is just not that great. One of the top questions that I got asked as a substitute was how much I got paid. In the high school that I worked at the most, I got paid $96 a day. The two other high schools that I would go to in the area, maybe once or twice a year, 
I got paid $85 and $90 a day. But sticking with that $96 figure, because that's where I worked 99% of the time, that works out to be about $13.72 an hour. Truthfully, that is not bad at all for something like substitute teaching. It's easy money, it's good available part-time work, and you know, if you have your sub certificate, you'll never be unemployed unless you do something horrible. There's a big but though, it's school. And a school schedule is not full time. First, school is only in session for 180 days a year, at least in the Northeast United States. Secondly, in a normal job, you would work Monday through Friday four times a month. So 20 days a week, and if you work Saturdays, that's just extra money. In a school system though, it's very rare that you get consecutive five day a week weeks. There's always some staff meeting, some holiday, some school closure, not to mention snow days or other sort of weather related incidents where you can't go into work as a substitute. That's the thing that really kills the income is that you don't get paid unless you show up, which is normal for any job. But as a substitute, there's even fewer chances for you to work because there's even fewer days that work is even open. That's not to mention that you have to be lucky like I was to have a district that was short on subs where you could get a job every single day as long as you click the button on the app. And third, there are parts of the school year that are great as a student. I love them as a student. But if you're depending on income from a school schedule, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all of those major fun holidays, you don't make any money. So that $96 a day doesn't really add up. And that's the third big reason why I quit substitute teaching. And who knows, I might wind up doing a sub job here and there if I have a day off with my regular full-time job. But for the time being, I quit substitute teaching. And I'm wondering if there's anyone out there that's also quit being a substitute. If you have, leave a comment down below and let me know why you quit. And if this was your first time here to Capo TV and you also think school is a joke, you want to help spread that message, then hit the subscribe button now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.